Hello Capricorn and welcome to your love romance relationship reading for the first half of October 2019. I am Heather from the Crystal Vein Tarot. Welcome to my channel and thank you very much for joining me today. Not all of these messages will resonate with you. Take what fits and make a note of those that don't as they may become useful to you in the near future. Also check out the readings for your moon, rising and Venus signs if this reading doesn't resonate. I have provided a link below for your convenience where you can find out those placements in your chart. Um, I only post these readings on YouTube, so if you enjoyed or were inspired by this reading, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and comment down below as I would love to hear from you and I do value all of the feedback I receive. Now let's get started and see what messages and energies are around you for the first half of October 2019. So dear spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn for the first half of October 2019? Dear spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn for the first half of October 2019? Dear spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Capricorn? for the first half of October 2019. Okay, I'm just cutting the deck. Okay, let's see what we have. The first card is the Ten of Swords and that is followed by the Five of Pentacles. And next we have the Nine of Wands, followed by the Sun. And then finally we have the Ten of Wands, followed by the Queen of Wands. And at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for the first half of October, we have the Nine of Swords. So just give me a moment please Capricorn. I'm just gonna look at these cards. I'm, I'm really feeling like you have a lot going on um, in your life. You have, you have two nines and you have two tens and they're both in the suits of swords and wands. So that's, that's a lot of intense energy going on. Yeah, you're definitely, I, I, I definitely feel like the first half of October is going to be intense for you. Um, so the overall energy for the first two weeks of October, looking at this, the Nine of Swords. Um, so the Nine of Swords is, the energy around the Nine of Swords is one of anxiety, um, grief, depression, nightmares, being kept up all night, um, worrying about things. Um, but the one thing with the with the swords is it's air energy. It's about intellect. Um, it's thoughts. It's it's basically your words and thoughts are creating your reality, um, and your words and your thoughts are your superpower. So you need to use them wisely. And in this situation, they might not be being used wisely. Um, this is a card that can can say that you know you're turning that that molehill into a mountain. That the problem or or the feelings that you're having, the grief, anxiety, that it's 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 bigger. You're making it bigger than it needs to be, um, and that if you would just get out of your head, you might be able to see that that it's not the situation is not as bad as you think it is. Um, you do have a lot of wands energy um, and then you do have swords but primarily you have more wands in this reading and wands are about passion. Um, passion lights up the warmest feelings in you and when someone can have fun with you they're yours forever and I'm getting the feeling from this this nine of Nine of Swords that that may, maybe you're 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 even overthinking and it's causing you to worry, um, because maybe you feel like you, you you don't have that or or you you want that you want that that person that you can connect with on that passionate level that you can have fun with and and so if you're single 
and you're looking for someone that, that you're worried that that's not going to come in or that you're never going to find that person. And, you know, something that Spirit is now telling you too, we start off with the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords, I mean, you just look at this card, it's pretty gruesome. You have the swords, this woman is on the ground, um, the swords are hanging, ten swords are hanging above her, ready to run her through. And um, it's, so it, it can be painful. You, you could have experienced something very painful, and this is maybe why you're feeling like you're not going to have that, that, that that person that you can connect with on that passionate level that you're coming from you're coming from possibly even a heartbreak it's not the three of wands or three of swords energy but there, there's still that 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 suffering and that that painful ending or hitting rock bottom in terms of relationships the great news about this and it, especially it being at the beginning of the reading and the beginning of the month is that the Ten of Swords also tells you that it's over, that that's complete, that that part of, or that, that situation that you've been, those feelings, that they're done. It's over. So it's time for you to stop worrying about that and staying up at night and stop overthinking the situation and what you may or may not have or what may or may not come into your life. Because, you know, if you continue to do that, we have the Five of Pentacles here. And the Five of Pentacles is all about, Pentacles is, is the physical, right? It's an earth energy. And it's, it's all about, um, it's all, all about feeling security in a relationship when we're talking about a, a, a love romance type reading versus when it's a career reading and you're talking about money and possessions. So this is that, that emotional security and it's about, um, and that security and feeling that emotional security, it's something that can bring out the best of you and it allows you to put down your guard. But the five of pentacles is about poverty and isolation and loss and worry. Again, another card about worry and I'm really feeling like spirit is telling you that that if you continue to to focus on that and, and think of come from us project from yourself onto others that sense that you are maybe that you're, you 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 might feel like because of whatever painful experience this was you might not feel like you deserve that that you don't you don't deserve that passionate relationship or that connection with someone and and again you're feeling that loss but it's it's time for you to stop and get out of your head and to let that guard down so that can come into your life because if you keep projecting that that feeling of stay away from me because your guard is up and, and, and you have that and you're projecting that onto others, nobody, nobody's going to come near you, right? Like if you have that outer shell of a porcupine, nothing's going to want to get close. Um, so this is all about letting that down, like letting that guard down and, and getting out of your head so that security can come in there, that, that feeling of, of emotional security can come in. Because then we also have the Nine of Wands. So this is all followed by the Nine of Wands. And then the Nine of Wands is, it's about keeping and maintaining boundaries and persistence. So, you know, and this is, I, I'm really feeling like, especially with the Nine of Swords being above that, that, that this is what you want to do. You want to keep up that, that wall that you're creating around yourself um, to protect yourself because it's, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling like you've come, come from, from a place of, or you've experienced, you know, either in the recent past, or it could even be further, further in the past than that, but that, that you've really had, had a situation where, where it's almost as if your heart was broken, and so now you're afraid to let something in, and this is, the Nine of Wands is saying that it's about, you're still 
putting up that wall and that that resistance and and with it being clarified by the sun spirit is saying that you don't have to do that anymore capricorn that you can let that guard down that it's time for you to open up the sun is one of the most positive cards in in the tarot deck and being a major arcana card like this is this is all about destiny, karma, and perhaps you needed to go through this painful experience in order to have something brighter and better come into your life. And so we're looking at the sun and, and the sun, it speaks of new love. It talks about love at first sight and falling in love for the first time or just like the first time. So if you're in a relationship and you've gone through bad times, and, and, and I'm not saying that, that your spouse was cheating on you, but that's just the easiest example that people most, like a lot of people can relate to, that if, if something like that was happening, um, that, you know, it maybe it's time to, to if, you're, if you're staying in that relationship, whatever the situation was, that perhaps it's, it's time to, to let down that guard now and let in the sun because this is that opportunity for again falling in love for the first time or just like it was the first time and it feels that way and this card speaks of joy and happiness and love and relationships and if you're single then this card um, is, is about a new love interest who will adore you and show you love from a pure heart if it's an established relationship, then the sudden signifies that something um, bringing you joy. It could be a child, a shared interest, going on a holiday, a celebration, etc. That that that's coming, and that that can kind of reconnect and, and reignite that flame in that relationship. Um, it can also talk about something out of the ordinary that will bring you and your spouse close together, and you're falling in love all over again. So you know it's. If you let down your guard because of whatever um, has happened to make you put your guard up in the first place, um, you know you you can you can let that in. You that that would you know you you have that that feeling of a new love coming in um, because then this is also followed by another ten, the ten of wands, and so the ten of wands again ten tens. It, it, it's always about completion that that that, that cycle is ending um, the battle has been is over now um, however way you want to look at it with that but um, the the ten of wands can also talk about stress exhaustion um, there's you have too many burdens like look at he's carrying these these ten wands in his in his arm he's looks like he's heading over to the um, the city so he's still in his way in the distance so he still has a long journey to go and these swords are starting to fall or sorry these wands are beginning to fall out of his hands and so you know it's and these are all the burdens these this is all everything that he's carrying and just becoming exhausted and I'm, I'm feeling like like this burden this exhaustion is all about this and all about letting go of that it's and it's telling you that it's time to let go of these thoughts in your head that it's time to move past whatever this was that was causing you to stay up all night and causing you to to feel like you're just completely done and and that you are that that whatever that painful ending or painful experience was it's it's time for you to to let that go and and move forward from that because it's just it's draining you and you cannot keep that up um, and it is time tens again are, are an ending so it's time to release that burden and um, it's being clarified of all things by the queen queen of wands and so this is amazing so Capricorn this can be you it can be someone else that's coming into your life or it can be someone else that's already in your life but the queen of wands she is she is amazing she is someone that knows what she and it can this can represent male or female energy but as the queen of wands you know she's she's a master of that suit of the wands and she is passionate she's fiery she is she has desire drive she knows what she wants and she knows how to get it get it and nothing stands in her way and the queen of wands is um yeah she, she just she she's this is this is an opportunity for for passion whether or not it's you or another person 
um, who's who's showing these traits. Uh, that that Queen of Wands is, you know, she's very confident and self-assured. So what this is telling me is that once you release all of these, the, this fear, anxiety, worry, the, the pain that you've experienced, the feeling like you don't have, um, and that you're, you've been left out in the cold, and you stop keeping... You, you stop, you take down that boundary and you, and, you, and you let it go that you're going to have the sun come in and the sun blessing your relationships and, and it's going to ignite that fire and the passion that, that those emotions, that, that those personality traits of that Queen of Wands and that Queen of Wands energy. So not only is this going to feel like new love or not love at first sight or a, a re igniting of, of a current um, current relationship but it's going to also bring all that feistiness that that passion that comes with the and with the the queen of wands and it's going to bring a lot of confidence into your relationship and self-assurance into that relationship but you need to release you need to release and it's time for you to release all those burdens and it's time for you to put that guard down and let that go, whatever's happened. So Capricorn, this concludes your reading for the first half of October 2019. Please join me again for the second half of October reading that I will be posting in approximately two weeks. Thank you very much for watching me. Lots of love and take care Capricorn.